Buari at it again as he acquired new ammo tanks and other modern weapons for the Nigerian army. In an effort to address the security challenges facing the country, the Nigerian military has brought in modern weapons and other war equipment to carry out counter-terrorism operations. The Chief of Defense Staff took over time made the announcement during a meeting in Meduguri on Tuesday. According to Buratai, some of the weapons were imported, others are made locally through collaborative work. So far, our military has brought in equipment to support it in its war. To this end, the Nigerian Army recently took delivery of key platforms to reinvigorate our operations. These include the VT-4 and FTI tanks, the KIA light tactical vehicle, as well as the SH-2 and SH-5 self-propelled artillery guns. Post-treatment training is ongoing on these equipment and they will soon be inducted into the theater. The Nigerian Army received some armored personnel carriers from Jordan and we are expecting the delivery of other major capabilities. Furthermore, through local ingenuity, Nigerian Army facilitated the production and delivery of the Pro Force MROAPs, Izugu MROAPs, as well as the Conqueror and Champion Barriers. Despite certain challenges in the new innovation, this platform have no doubt enhanced the effectiveness of our troops across various theaters. We will continue to work assiduously to ensure that we support all operations with equipment and platforms, he said. Boratai emphasized the need for commanders to ensure that the weapons were distributed evenly so as to justify the huge resources expended on them by the federal government. He said the military was making great strides in all its current exercises. The army chief added that the military was trying to disrupt the activities of the terrorists, including insurgents, militants, kidnappers, cattle rustlers, and clashes between mm -hmm. farmers and headsmen, among others. He further told the commanders on the field to make sure they eliminate all threats to security across the country. Thank you for listening to this news. This is this is a progress. This is a progress, and this is what we are talking about. Um, the Nigerian government, if they have been making this move from the beginning. It would have gone a long way in helping solving so many matters. These hoodlums would have been co completely wiped off. Well, I commend the Nigerian um, government and also the Nigerian army for making this known to to uh, to President Momo Buhari and them um, for for also making move to make sure that these uh, equipment are made available. At least with this, the Nigerian army will now be rest assured and set for this, uh, for this job. Understand? They will rest assured and set for this job. And uh, there will be no longer uh, too many excuses or, or reason for not um, for not for not um, doing it right when at the war front, you understand. So it's very very important. Um, General Enche that um, complained of the need of these things. I would say that now the things are available, so uh, there is no need or there is no reason for them to complain of any of any. Uh, 
uh, and weapons. The, the weapons they asked for and the backups are now made available. But then that doesn't mean that uh, they, they cannot uh, still make requests if there is need for that. If there is any other request that, uh, that they need, that if there is any other thing that they need to, uh, from the federal government, they should make it, they should request for it now. Because, because there is need for that. You know, the Nigerian army are the eyes of this country. God is the eye of the country, but then God makes use of the Nigerian army. Understand? That is why I was so much afraid when the Nigerian army said 300 um, soldiers are dropping. I was afraid. Yeah, it's worth being afraid of. If you are the one, you won't be afraid. The people that have been at the war front for the sake of this country. Many of us don't know what the Nigerian army are doing for us. We, we, we just feel relaxed at home, eating egg, beans, rice, plantain, relaxing, going to eat trees, visiting museum. We don't know the war that these people are fighting for our sake. We don't know. Eh? These people, they don't sleep. They, 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 they do have sleep, sleepless nights. Their, eye, their eyes is always wide open 24 hours in search of these hoodlums, in search of these bandits. They don't sleep just for you, just for you, so that these bandits will not find their way to your, to your doorstep and start eliminating people. If not for them that has been blocking them at the war front, these people would have gained entrance into Nigeria, into communities, into streets, into areas and eliminate people. But to God be the glory that we have soldiers to back us up, soldiers to stand by, by us, to God be the glory for the presence of the Nigerian soldiers. If not, <laughs> oh, a lot would have happened, a lot. If not because of the carelessness of our federal government, these deaths we are recording in our communities wouldn't have happened. Do you understand? So it's the recklessness of our federal government. Okay, now with this now, let me see where they will, how they, they, will, they will be able to get entrance. Now that the weapons have made them available, <coughs> it is now time for um, Bratai, you know. Now it's now time for Bratai to come up and um, and start doing something about it. You understand? And start working things out. You should not give that space. You should not give that chance. Understand? So it is very, very important. Very, very, very important. All right. So um, my viewers, I don't know what your own opinion concerning all that I just said may be, but please do well to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.